Cool. Sweet. Oh. What's up, guys? Welcome to 2022. I'm John the Potter. So great to have you in the Pottery Studio. Today's video, we're gonna do something really special. I say that a lot. I shouldn't say it's, it is special. Well, okay. Anyway, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some marbled stuff. So up in that corner right there, I have a bunch of colored clay. There's like 20 to 25 different colors. I don't even know how many. Blues, pinks, reds, oranges, tons of different stuff. We are going to throw some things, maybe like a big vase, couple mugs, couple cups, in a different way than we have in the past. And so in the past, you know, I've done the whole piece has been marbled, but recently what I've been doing is having the ball of clay be normal clay, colored just white, and then put outside the design of colored clay, which what it does is it uses a lot less colored clay. So you're not wasting as much because the colored clay is difficult to make and it's expensive and um, it's just better to use less of it. And I think it also gives you a few more options. So what I'm gonna do is make like orange, red, kinda like warmer colors and then put it around the base and then I'm gonna do cooler colors around the top. Um, and so we're gonna see how that works. I don't really know, this is kind of an experiment, so you're along for the ride. Alpine rose, red, orchid. Tons of options, let's do it. Now what we're gonna do is we got our colored clay all mixed up together, got the reds and oranges and pinks, and then we got the blues and greens, cool colors. So now we're gonna take little slabs of both of these, cut them up, and then get balls of clay on the wheel and put them around before we throw it. So, I'll show you what I mean. So right now it'll look a little more dull, but as it gets fired, and especially when it gets like, if it gets a clear glaze on it, then that makes the colors really pop. So first we got our clay. Shout out to Continental Clay. They are the clay sponsor of John the Potter. So thanks so much. We are using B clay, which is a porcelain stoneware mix that we fire to cone seven, sometimes cone eight. Uh, all the colorants that we got to put in the clay are from US Pigment. You can check them out at uspigment.com. We're gonna start with, there's two and a quarter pounds right there. All right, let's get on the wheel. Do this thing. Okay, so I get my ball clay on there and then I'm gonna take just a couple strips. So kind of what I'm gonna do is lay one layer And then I'm gonna take a cool color, or maybe two cool colors, and lay it right above that.
so far, that's pretty sweet. And then the trimming, once we go back and we trim it after it's been dried, that's when you can really start to see the color come through. Cool, sweet. You can see the transition there where it like starts to move up. Wow, that's cool. I'm pumped, I'm pumped that it worked. Okay guys, so it's the next day and these are all dry enough to trim. So these are all the ones we threw yesterday and uh, I keep them under plastic overnight. They are all ready to trim. And this is when you can really start to see the detail come out when you trim that, like the slip outer layer off. Like I try and get as much off as I can when I throw, but you really get most of it off when you trim. But you also have to be careful, especially with this method to not trim too much because then you just trim the color clay off. So. We're gonna hop on the wheel and do that. I'll take a metal rib and that can kind of just take a little layer off. There it is, we threw a couple big vases, a couple tumblers, all turned out really cool. But we won't really know until we get the final fire in because the colors should get brighter. We should put a clear glaze on them, which will make them look even better. So that was really fun. Worked out pretty well. It opens up a lot of possibilities of using different colors and combining different colors. And so I'm excited to keep trying this technique. Uh, hopefully you learn something. The trimming was kind of more difficult than I expected and some of them are just not that good. I'll be completely honest. Like this one, I hardly had to do any trimming and it looks like perfect. So the better you can get it scraped off on the wheel and reveal that color clay under not, underneath, definitely the better. Although sometimes you can trim it really, really well. I Some of these were too a little too dry. So anyway, as with everything, it's a work in progress, uh, but very fun to try it out and show you guys. All right, that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. All right, let's say it. Yeah, Highland, and right now out on where Yeft. We're on the chairlift at um, Highland. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Highland. Doing um, some skiing. Um, I'm in the middle of the Yale Hill, and there's a little stuff over there.
Yeah. Um, um, hi, we just, um, just, um, been on you and saying something to you, um. <laughs> Ryder's doing great. A couple times I've had to slow him down because he's speeding too fast. But he's doing great. He knows how to slow down and everything. 